Pennsylvania Republican gubernatorial candidates gathering in Radford County earlier today where leaders from across the state laid out their plans for energy production. Our 18 News reporter Rhea Jha was there and she has more on what the future of that industry might look like in the Commonwealth. Six Pennsylvania gubernatorial candidates from around the state attended the America's Rural Energy Coalition event in Bradford County. Yeah, I came all the way from Pittsburgh today because I know the use of our energy is critical not only to Pennsylvania's economy, but to this area's economy. They came to pitch their energy production agendas to local leaders of the northern tier where some feel these voices are forgotten. In rural Pennsylvania, Northeast PA predominantly, you know, we felt that maybe we didn't have a good spot at the table, yet we have the top producers of natural gas in the nation and in the world. Pennsylvania is currently ranked among the highest states for the share of total economic contributions by the natural gas and oil industry, generating $78.4 billion. The energy industry in Pennsylvania is maybe the single most critical issue when it comes to the economy. Right, we have massive resources. What I'm looking for is to hear who has the best plan and the best ideas. 64,000 Pennsylvania workers are currently employed by fossil fuel based industries. These candidates say the clean energy industry is just not big enough to replace all these jobs. Windmills and solar cells cannot, at this point, even geothermal energy, run our massive industries in the state of Pennsylvania. While some are saying we are amid a climate crisis, these candidates want to bring more pipelines to the state. Pennsylvania should up its fossil fuel, its natural gas production, so that the world demand for energy comes from Pennsylvania. Reporting in Bradford County, Rhea Jaw, 18 News.